Hi everyone, this is the second part. In this content, we will create asynchronous server. We will write in two examples. First, first example is with just a simple function. We will create an asynchronous application, asynchronous server. Then we will use, in the second example, we will use object-oriented style to understand better. So, so include IO stream and boost as IO and the bind HPP and also we use memory. We will use a shared pointer. We will create IO service and acceptor as a global variable here, as you see. We don't uh, declare these things in the main. This is the problem actually, but we will solve this problem in the next uh, example. We just give the IP address and 1234 as a port number, as a statically. Then we create a handle accept method. It will get a socket and system error code, you know, like in the old videos. And also we create a start accept, accept function, actually. It just get a socket. And it will call asynchronous accept method from the acceptor. And it will bind the handle accept function. In the handle accept function, start accept will be called back. We will see. Let's implement the handle accept function right now. Then we, if there is an error, we just return. Then need an error code. Data should be 10 character, for example. It depends to you. And we will read the length. Socket read some function we can use here. Just as your buffer data and error code. Then if length is greater than zero, that means there is something in the buffer. Then we write the received, the length of the received message, not directly the message here right now, as an example. Then we write back this message, like the old one, but this will be the asynchronous. We don't have to kill the server. Right. Then after this, we will create a socket again. Socket pointer new. As an example, we can do this. It's not the best practice. Then we will call start accept again, passing the socket. And in main, we will create the socket pointer first. Then we will call start accept, passing this socket. Then we will call IO service run. That is all. And here, let me check, everything is all right. As you see, start accept called in the handle accept, like in the for loop, right? like in the while loop, right? Let's compile the code as an asynchronous server. Yeah, I think there is no error. Cool, it's compiled the for the first time and run the server, server is active right now and from the client we will send a message, some hello message as you see that server is not died, right? is is running every time so server can handle multiple clients right now we don't have to worry about anything, right? this is the asynchronous server but this is not the best practice because uh, we implement the IO service and acceptor as a global, right? And also we use a simple functions, but this is not a, this is not a good idea. So in the next example, we will implement these things in the object oriented style with a socket and a handle accept classes we will create. This will be the uh, next content. So let's write, let's create asynchronous server two. You can give any name, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Include IO stream. And we include again the boost SIO HPP and the boost bind we need. Also, like the old one, uh, memory is necessary. And this example we will use enable shared from this is used to create safely shared pointers instance from the current shared pointer, right? So we will create a Connection handler, it will be inherited from this shared, enable shared from this.
then we create a as a private socket here and a message and maximum length depends on you i just leave it 10 bytes and a data it's a max length then as a public we will as a constructor we create a connection handler which needs a socket as an io service right and we create a socket which returns socket function which returns this socket we will use it then we create a read and write method we will use a uh, asynchronous read sum that needs buffer and a bind we will bind the connection handler handle read function that we will implement in the next we will pass using shared from this is the current instance of the shared pointer we will use the placeholder's error and the bytes transferred it is this necessary these things then let's implement the write method just get the message data i mean then asynchronous write sum this will be the same with the read sum method just we pass the message not the data that is all we can copy here directly and now we create a handle read method this will be callback right it needs bytes transferred this is a size if there's an error if there's not an error we will print just data here what we read then else we will just print the error message and we will close the socket right it should be closed right then we will call write method here first we read then we write that is the thing then implement the handle write Uh, close the socket that is all if there is an error close the socket cool then let's implement server class as a private we need an acceptor and io service and also we can create an start accept method as a private which creates a shared pointer like before as a connection handle right then we will pass this connection socket method in the asynchronous accept function then we will bind the handle accept method of the server class using this and connection the placeholders error we just pass and the as a public we create a server constructor that needs io service address and the port number so we don't have to create an uh, as a global right we create the object right now let's pass the acceptor io service and let's call start accept function that is the thing then let's impl implement the handle accept function that should be called in the asynchronous accept right this would be the callback it needs connection handler and an error code then if there is no error we just call connection read from the connection handler we just implement then we will call start accept method again like in the loop right start accept create asynchronous accept and call the handle accept handle accept call the start accept this is the thing it will be in the loop right two functions call each other that's the thing everything is all right i think we close the socket here so in main we will get the arguments like the old ones the old server right the first uh, time we arrived if there is a tree wrong parameter wrong usage depends on you example usage asynchronous server we just give the ip address port number that's all return minus one 
Then we get an address and the port. These examples are actually exist. Uh, you can find the link below the video, right? So don't have to worry about right looking to video. Don't worry about these things. There's an error. Sorry. Sorry. Then this should be socket key. I forget to type the key every time. I forget to add the port number and the shared pointer. There's a typo. So it's compiled. Let's run the server. And say hello with the NC tool. See, it's working. It's cool. We don't have to worry about the killing the or restarting the server. It's asynchronous. Also, as you see that we don't uh, clear the buffer. That is why it's just print the uh, old things and the buffer. We can send other things here. So it's working, and uh, guys, everything is all right. I think. Then uh, for me, this is all. See you around and don't forget to subscribe.